YouTube crew, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Now, today we are breaking down my recent PR game, a 30 kill win in Rebirth. I finally hit the Coveted 30 bomb. So today we're gonna be breaking down that gameplay in hopes it'll help you hit that PR. So as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed down below for daily videos. And most importantly, let's go hashtag Bullfrog down in the comments below for the algorithm. Let's get into it. Okay, so before we hop in here, I wanna address one quick thing. I do not want you to feel overwhelmed by me getting 30 kills. Yes, 30 kills is a lot. There's probably some of you saying, Joe, I'll never be able to get that many kills. So today let's focus on how do I consistently put myself in good positions and consistently get easy kills. And no matter what your PR is, whether it's in the 20s, whether it's in the 10s, whether it's less than 10, if you apply some of these tips, you'll be able to break your PR soon enough. So let's go ahead and hop in here. I'm gonna grab this MG82 off the ground and ultimately uh, start to push. Now, I love the MG82. It's not my favorite. If I find a better gun that I like, you know, something like the XM4 or something, I'm gonna grab it, but it's got a super fast fire rate. It's got a 100 round mag. It's got decent mobility. So we're gonna kick it off. Now, as we go ahead and push here, this guy pops in. I'm gonna down one, I'm gonna down two, and I'm gonna pause this in a second. We're going to get this thirst pause. So I see this guy right here, and I know he's pushing across bridge. Now, this is a tough decision. This is a split-second decision that a lot of you would make incorrectly. You would go to thirst this person and then go to challenge the person on the bridge. Now, the problem with that is there's not enough time. The person on the bridge would end up shooting you in the back. So watch how I play this. I challenge the person on the bridge. I down them and then immediately focus on the person that's self-reviving, which allows me to come out of this fight successful. So I down that guy and then immediately focus on the person self-reviving below me. And now, because they're only a bullet, right? They're going to be a super easy down. You don't really have to hit them much. So that's kind of just something you may come across at some point and apply the same thing. Now I am going to fast forward basically 30 seconds because I spent 30 seconds explaining what I just told you. So we're going to go ahead and skip it. Now, car goes ahead and drives by us. We end up torching it, torching the guy out of the driver's seat and taking that. Now, I do want to highlight that we are in duo quads, which means, you know, we do have to play a little bit more strategically. If you have a full team of four, you know, you may have two guys up oh, at I any given like moment. You may have like three guys up at any given moment, but... You know, here it's only Hog and I, and you can get wiped as a as a duo pretty quickly. So I see this person up here. Guys, and notice notice the shots here. He's kind of a little bit out in the open. I'm in a good spot in terms of positioning, in terms of range and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and hit those shots with my favorite AR, the M4, right now, and just absolutely melt that guy. So we're gonna go ahead and keep pushing here. By the way, tomorrow's video is gonna be on my four pillars for success. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it with that notification bell on. Bell on. We're gonna be going. A little bit more in detail about what my four pillars are. Now, we get shot from the left side. A little bit of a tough spot here. But notice I immediately slide cancel behind cover. And now I'm going to go ahead and re-challenge this with the bunny hop. You know, I talk a lot about using movement to your advantage. But at the end of the day, look, aim is the most important thing. If I don't hit my shots there, I do not win that gunfight. Okay, so right here I catch this guy pushing up at the shack. So I'm going to go ahead and shoulder this corner right here just to make sure that he's not pushing, which gives Hog enough time to self-revive. Now, I'm going to go ahead and replate again. I know this guy's pushing up, so I'm going to go ahead and shoulder it again, and now I see him out in the open. Now I can go ahead and re-challenge. And look, you don't have to bunny hop in these situations. It's not super important. What's important is when you re-challenge... You know, do some sort of movement that makes you a little bit harder to hit. That can be a normal jump peek. It could be a bunny hop. You know, it could be sliding around the corner and do a drop shot. Something that makes your opponent miss bullets and kind of gives you the advantage. Now, both of these guys are on our level. So we're going to go ahead and down that first guy and immediately see that guy turn back around. I actually lose in my, in my scope here a little bit, which is weird. But ultimately get both of those downs pretty easily there. Again, easy kills are what we're looking for. Now, we do have UAV do up. UAV. I noticed that these two guys are oh, above, on but level. not or the one guy's above. Notice, yep, yep, yep. I'm not totally sure what level they're on, right? They're not on my uh, level, so I'm going to go ahead and push roof here. I can pop UAV right now. And I'm going to pop UAV again. Huge common theme. And now they're below. So now they're I know both. exactly where they are. They're above Hog. They're below me. Below me. They're clearly on this middle platform. Now, I hear this guy flying in. So we're going to go ahead and take that person out. Another easy kill. Look, the free right. ones are the free you. ones. But Literally what we're focusing on is kind of the... the Kills where I'm putting myself in good positions. And we have UAVs up constantly, which makes that decision-making process easier. Like really Except process, here, I need to talk about something. I don't say this very often. This was an overwhelming UAV. This was so many dots, and I like didn't even know where to begin in terms of pushing. So what I see here is I see these two guys pushing up this left side. 
So watch how as I get the down, ultimately I go ahead and refocus on those guys. So I'm gonna take this free kill again right in front of us because you know he's focused on other guys that are in the way. um in the courtyard there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those kills. Now as yeah, I push over this way, I catch this guy jumping out. I'm gonna go ahead and hit all of those shots there. I literally have two bullets left. If I don't hit all of those shots, I probably don't get that thirst there which then allows us to see where his teammates are. So I know me. his teammate is below me, right? So he's not on this level and he's not on the roof. And I highlight these for a reason. So he's below me I don't know if and he's in this floor, back or... corner. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this bottom part, right? I'm going to go ahead and clear it. I'm going to anticipate him being in there. And as soon as he's not, now I know where he is. Yeah. Now I know he's in this back corner right here. And essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play super aggressive. I'm going to play super fast. I'm going to break through this door, figure out where he is, hit my shots, and he doesn't stand a chance. And he doesn't stand a chance there because I'm From forcing where? him to track me. But I'm just playing too fast. So that's how you got to play those situations where there's one person camping in a in a room is just play super quick, push it, and ultimately figure out where he is. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge this guy to the left now. I'm going to hit all of my shots once again, down get the level. down there, and once again, we're going to take the free kill of the guy flying in. That's like two or three at this point, but we take those, and those are part of a PR game. You know, you get those super easy free kills. You don't argue with it. You just take them. So now there's this guy below me that I hear, and I actually hear him on this back side at this point, kind of behind below the stairwell, but then I hear him push outside. So I'm going to go ahead and hip fire a little bit and get the advantage. Then we're going to go ahead and get the thirst there. Now notice there's one up here at the buy station. There's the two guys down, down below. There's so we're going to go ahead and farm here. that other, last guy. Last I don't guy need to challenge that station. guy up top. I'd rather his teammates respond back in and we get more opportunities for kills. Now right here is where I really noticed the PR game. 17 kills, 19 people still up. We are in a really good spot here. So we end up popping UAV again. And I want to specifically highlight this team of three in Courtyard because I promise you, so many of you would have missed this and it could have potentially got you killed here and ruined a PR game. So I'm, you would have been hyper-focused on this person or maybe this person top prison. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge this guy below. But let's keep an eye on, as soon as I kill this guy, you know, again, free kill. But notice that they're no longer there. They went ghost. So this team just now we're in a tough spot here. because we don't know where they are. We don't know what we're walking into. We don't know if they're rotating, you know, up towards courtyard this way, if they're pushing towards us. So we do have to play this cautiously. So watch how I'm kind of ready. And look at my crosshairs. This is a great example of centering right here. Notice my crosshairs are right on the doorway. I don't know he's there, but I'm anticipating that he's there. And now it allows me to ultimately hit all of my shots with the tracking and get that down. But next thing I want to highlight here is that I don't push this immediately. I'm trying to see if his teammates are going to peek around this doorway. I don't know where his teammates are. And me getting the thirst on that guy doesn't do me anything. I don't get any more pings because they're ghosted. They're not going to pop up. So I'm playing a little bit more cautious. Now I have Hog with me. Now we're going to push up. And right here, I catch this guy pushing up. Now he could push towards Courtyard, kind of over towards this side of prison where I would chase him. Oh, but what ends up happening is I pull back from this door just a little bit. I hesitate. And the reason being is if I'm too close to this door, he can break my camera. He can jump around me. He can slide around me. So what I end up doing, and you'll see this, is I actually pull back a little bit. I force him to either basically run this way kind of again towards courtyard or push me. And it, what happens is he can't break my camera. He has to make the decision. He's in a really bad spot and it plays out perfect. All ends up getting the great crossfire there. We get an no, no, easy no, kill. Good, good. 19 kills, 23 people still up. And I, this is a good time to talk about, you know, so much of a PR game is a little bit of luck in terms of lobby health. You I'm know, I 30. can farm all the kills I want. It allows me 11. more opportunities to get more kills and it's something you should be doing to get a PR. But ultimately, lobby health is a whole different story. You know, there's eight teams here that aren't killing each other. I can let them live, but if they kill each other, there's not much I can do. Um, so, you know, farming kills, definitely do that. Use it to your advantage. I see two on heartbeat there. But just to finish that thought, lobby health is just crucial. It's something you can't really control. So I hear this guy getting chopped up below. So now I go ahead and push this guy. That's an easy kill right there in terms of hitting all my shots. And I just have good positioning. I am third partying there. But again, we're in a good position to third party there and drop down. Pause.
49 meters straight ahead of me. No, I did not see this dot on on uh, UAV or on the minimap. I will be totally honest with you. I did not. But 49 meters, fire sale, straight ahead. Let's use some deductive reasoning here. They are on the buy station. And right as I'm pushing, I actually hear, right as I'm about to pull the heartbeat out right there, I actually hear a self-revive. So now I know there's multiple people down there. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge here. But I don't like full send over this way, right? A lot of you might have like, jumped off here and tried to turn and shoot. I don't know how many there are. So watch how I play. I peek this slowly. Down one, down two. Now I pull back a little bit and I'm going to use this as a heady essentially where I can use it as cover if I need to. They're basically, if they try to shoot me in the stomach, they're not going to hit any bullets. That's the point of a heady. Yes, you it leaves you a little bit more susceptible to being shot in the head, which gives more damage obviously, but that's the only place they can hit you. It's a lot harder to hit them. So I don't hit many shots there, which means I have to re-peak. Now I track this guy at the top. It forces me to reload. This ends up being a good situation that I don't kill all these guys because they end up respawning back in more opportunities for kills. But I down that guy that is essentially going to tap his teammate. And this guy right here, because he self-revives, is literally only a bullet. I don't even, you know, ADS or anything. I just simply get the down. I get the thirst. And watch how I track this guy up the stairs. Just absolutely perfect. You know, at this point, there's two alive. I see the guy on buy station. I see this guy over pushing into prison. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the guy in prison. Hog and I are going to kind of attack this guy down below. Hog's going to fly in, and we're going to get this guy down below for the easy kill. I actually don't... I didn't see him at all. I had no right more idea where he went. But we're going to go ahead and push back up. We're going to grab that UAV that was on the stairwell. We're going to grab the uh, the armor satchel there, there so we're full plates. And we're going to keep pushing. Now... Let's talk about this situation right here. A bunch of people over by prison. Let's leave them. I can hold them. Let's stick with good positioning here. Lighthouse. Not sure I want to push that. Kind of a weird push compared to the other options. The two other options I have are to push Nova 6 and to push the guy below me. So I'm going to go ahead and push this guy below me to get the super easy kill. I'm going to pull out the bullfrog. I'm going to get basically hit all my shots. Now it becomes super easy. I know that his teammate is down here. Let's go ahead and farm that kill, right? Let's leave him alive. I don't need to go wipe him. Guy. Come back, teammates. So I'm going to let that guy uh, bring his teammates back. Now, this was the one mistake that I made this game, to be honest. And I know that this team's in Lighthouse. I'm going to go ahead and push with Deddy. So I know that they are. They can't hear me. I hear them stick the res above me. So I'm going to go ahead and push this. I get the easy down, I get the thirst, right? That's not the problem. Now, this is the last teammate right here, and I know it's the last teammate. And at this point in time, I have 24 kills, I have 13 pe people still up, and I'm like, okay, we're hitting the 30. Let's start wiping team teams now so that we can make sure that we get the win. So I end up wiping this guy. I wish I had left him alive and I let his teammates respawn back in. You know, 25 kills, 11 people still alive. I have to kill over half the lobby at this point in order to get it. So I see these pings to my left at control. I see the pings on top of prison. And we're just going to hold here, use positioning to our advantage. They have to move right into me. Let's go ahead and take the free easy kills. I see that guy down below. I down him. Then the guy up top, I go ahead and down him. Thirst there. I actually don't thirst the other one. He thirsts himself. And now we're in a good spot here in terms of, you know, starting to push down the hill to wrap this game up. Let's highlight we have two people, or sorry, two teams. We have six people still up. So if I had left that other team alive, you know, we would have a lot more people up that would be basically available to kill to get the 30. But instead, we're we got to kill the last half of the lobby and basically get a ton of kills here. Now that guy's unfortunately down already, so I'm going to go ahead and thirst him. And I'm going to push down here and get basically one down, and then it's kind of a, a mosh posh of things going on in terms of thirst. I see this guy down below me. I see him down. No. Hog snipes the guy out of one guy out of the air, and at this point in time, I lost the 30 bomb, right? I got one guy still up, floating. And I have this guy that's downed already without self-revive. And at this point, I am like, I lost the 30. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, it is I what it is. 29 would have still been a new PR, but it's not 30. I well, I see uh, this guy gonna, flying back in as well. So now I know there's two alive he's again. I calm to Hog. Hog, hey, I need, I need to get these last two kills for the 30. He's just going to be there to support me in case I need it I need to this. ultimately clutch up the win in case I die. But ultimately, we're going to rotate over. I start playing this a little bit more patient because I have zoned to my advantage, right? They got to push right into me. 
I don't love this building right here. Anything can happen in this building. Prox mines, RPGs, you have no idea what is going on in this building. So I end up pushing back, playing a little bit more patient. Let's play a little bit more strategy here. Use it to our advantage. And right as I'm anticipating this corner, he pops out. No plates. I get the easy kill. The last one's at 10. And now I'm like, okay, now we're going to go ahead and push this. Ultimately get the easy kill. So... Now you get a sense of what I am thinking in the moment and what I am looking at to get easy kills. Start to apply these to your gameplay. Focus on your positioning. Focus on hitting shots. Focus on using your movement to your advantage, and you will break that PR. I promise you, you will. Oh, and by the way, keep UAVs up as much as possible. Make sure you subscribe for tomorrow's YouTube video, Four Pillars of Success. Let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.